Windows cannot access server. Error code 0x80004005. Okay, I want to help you fix this specific issue, and it's usually a corrupt, a corrupt system file. And so the only thing you have to do is just go into the registry and then delete the virtual box. And that would usually get you all set with this error. So in order to do that, what you want to do is you're going to go do a run command. And of course, you know, to do that, you just hold down the Microsoft key on the very bottom left of your keyboard. And then you want to, and then you want to hit R. And then when you get this pop up here for register for run, type in reg edit, R E G E D I T. Click OK. And then the registry editor, go to the very left part, click on H key local machines. And then what you want to do is click on software right here. And then you want to click on the following things. And the reason I don't do this here with you is because I've already deleted mine. So after software, you want to click on Windows. It's going to bring on a, another drop down menu. And then look specifically for Windows NT. It's going to bring you another drop down menu. And then you click on current version, another drop down menu. And then this is the one that most people don't have on the computer if they don't have this, but you may. It's called App Combat Flags, A-P-P-C-O-M-P-A-T Flags. You want to click on it, and then you're going to go to Layers. Click on Layers, and you're looking for this specific, specific virtual box on the C drive. It says Programs, Files, Backslash, Oracle, Backslash, Virtual Box, Backslash, Virtual Box, Disable, uh, callback exception. You're going to click on it and hit the delete button and then you can restart your computer and then tell me if you get that error box. So if you've done that, next thing I want you to do, if it's still you still get the error, is you're going to dis disable your antivirus temporarily by clicking on this up arrow here. You click on it and it's on the very bottom right of Windows next to your time on the window screen. You click on it and it's going to bring all these little icons right here. Look for your look for your antivirus. Mine's AVG, but you may have McAfee or you might have another one. And what you're going to do is click on it, and you're going to disable uh, your antivirus temporarily. And then I want you to see if you get that pop-up error. If you continue to get the pop-up error, the next thing is just to uninstall the antivirus altogether and see if you still get it. It may be something with your antivirus that you keep getting that pop-up error. You might have to install another one. Okay, now, after you've done that, you want to run regedit again to get all the way back here again. To... And what you're going to do is you want to navigate to the following path in registry. Like I was showing you earlier, you want to go to software, then Microsoft, then Windows, then current version, then policies, then system. And for the 32-bit, which you most likely won't have, it's an older computer, you would create a new D-word value called Local Account Token Filter Policy. And then for the 60-bit, same thing, it's Local Account Token Filter Policy. In either case, set the value to numeric, numeral 1, numeric 1, meaning on, and remember to click OK after you do this. So set either one of these to numeral 1. Usually the local account token filter policy value gets created for you before you have a chance to set the, va the data value. No problem. Just double click and modify the data from 0 to 1. Once this is done, restart your computer and see if you can now access the shared drivers and folders. If the problem persists after following all the steps above then, hold the Windows key, press R, and type hdwwiz.cpl to open device manager, select network adapters, and then click view from menu and choose view hidden devices. Expand network adapters, and if you see Microsoft 6 to 4 adapters, then delete them all by right clicking and selecting remove device. Then reboot. Okay, so if I helped you fix the problem, let me know which exact solution worked in the comment section. Go ahead and type it, like the video, and subscribe, and I do appreciate it.